Okay, we are back. The weeks fly by fast. Happy summer solstice, Yule, Hail, Krampus, and happy Festivus for the rest yeah, of us. Yeah, look up Krampus on Google. You wouldn't have saw? <laughs> That's why I told that woman. I know, I saw it. Totally, totally couldn't, couldn't debate me with facts, so I had to resort to name calling. Oh, telling me, no. telling me that I need tweezers to find my dick. Well, how does it get to sexuality, shit? Well, when a woman, when a woman is um, not winning politics, a, when a woman's not winning a debate, and she can't come back with any facts, she always resorts to two things to get it under a man's skin: uh, his income and his Ooh. penis, Ooh. penis size. You know, the, the insults that sh they think bothers a man, a lot of men do get bothered. Well, I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was, kind of, politics, it, it, was, it was kind of childish. I, I says, uh, and then my friend Alejandro. Alejandro! He's, a, um, he's a, an alternative um, and, uh, herbal doctor from... Um, um, Say Abla? from the um, Dominican Republic and uh -huh. his specialty is cancer and he's living in Miami now so he he kind of got a kick out of it you know uh, I it, it I must have I must have hit a raw nerve because I didn't get any rebuttal from the the witch hmm. she she's been quiet when I you know when I asked her if she was you know uh, uh, an obese um, trailer park uh, trash Walmart wo uh, woman, mm. you know, redneck, whatever. And I, I was gonna say Honey Boo Boo's mom, but where's she from? I, I don't know, ah. but uh, you know, uh, if you're gonna roll the dice on Facebook, uh, take a chance. Chances are, uh, chances are, chances are, because <laughs> I wear a silly green. No, no, I mean, chances are they're from, uh, there's a good chance they're going to be from down south or out west. So if you're going to call somebody, if somebody, uh, if you know somebody is obese and they're upset about the article that was posted, there's a good chance they're from down south and out west. Now, maybe she's not, you know. What is it? She upset at that uh, fat yeah, woman? Yeah, um, uh, the uh, the, um, the the fat woman. No, about the the article is about mo um, uh, large size models. Yeah. Big models. Yeah, I saw it. Okay, right. and um, and the article was about them. I guess they were setting the wrong example for women to eat badly. Well, yeah, but you just said that anybody overweight is unhealthy. Period. If you're, if That's you're, what you if, said if on you're top over, of not overweight when it comes to muscle, overweight when it comes to body fat percentage, yes. yes you're fat. Yes. You're unhealthy. Yeah, like Chris Christie. So you're, why did, what was, so she, she so, had so, a so problem a, with that. So a few of them that mm -hmm. are overweight had a problem uh -huh. with, uh, with uh, changing their lifestyle, changing their eating habits. Oh, well, there you go. And took offense to it, you know, mm -hmm. it's like. What I had said... Picket fence? Picket fence. Right. What, what bothered them is that I said that it is uh, obesity, uh, being overweight, is not an alternative genetic body type or alternative lifestyle or, a, a, in other words, a predetermined genetic body type. It's an unhealthy condition. It's, it's the diet, the food is very important, the food mm -hmm. that you intake. And I mentioned the carb, uh, syndrome X. Addiction to uh, carbohydrate, uh, refined carbohydrates, insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. I mentioned Carlton Fredericks or uh, Dr. Atkins' name. That nah, meant nothing. Is like, oh, yeah. Yeah. hey, I says, look, I'm not Richard Simmons. Not, I'm not gonna hold you by the hand and go, oh, you poor thing, oh, oh. I'm not gonna do that. I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm gonna tell it like it is. You should not be eating improperly you should be eating healthy and and um the first thing that you should cut out of your life is refined carbohydrates which is 
sugar and white flour. That's it, if you're yeah. overweight. You see it with their animals. They do the same thing. They feed them that shit stuff with all the uh, sugar fillers and carbohydrates yeah. in, the, in the food. And the cat gets big and the, fat, the dog gets fat. I've seen it's fat. right before your eyes. I've seen you see it. I've seen fat families with fat children and fat dogs. Yeah, because they're eating all the same food. They're eat, they're giving the dog table scraps, but if their table scraps are are toxic scraps. garbage, that's even worse for the pet because not only is a, a carnivorous animal not supposed to eat all these carbs, and that's what makes them fart, by the way. Yeah, because it's true. it's indigestion of the wrong food, like uh, dog biscuits. By the way, um, not only that, they're poisoning their pet. They're mm -hmm. poisoning their children. No child should should be obese. That's child abuse. You know, no child should have to be obese. And I, and I see there's a there's a um, I know somebody who's both of the children are unhealthy are overweight very overweight very unhealthy the mother is not obese but the kids are almost the daughter is obese the, the son is on his way so you know you you don't just because you're low income that doesn't mean you have to feed your family toxic foods I mean garbage. sometimes it's arrogant ignorance and they don't want to learn anything else it's not it's not they that they don't have so it's not that they don't have the brain cells or the capacity to learn they don't want to they do don't it. choose to learn anything else it's just like uh, 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 Gary will say Gary no he will say often about his family his family drank and smoked so, and yet here he was the guru of health but they didn't give a damn but when he was young and he lived with them, he probably he had ate a, uh, a, 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 a no, cheese sandwich. No, he, he probably you know? had a, had to breathe in secondhand uh, smoke. Ah, yeah, of course. But in West Virginia, there's plenty of fresh air outside. There was. But I bet they smoked inside. On the on the front porch, you know. Which is the whole thing. They're very smokers. Look, I've read articles where nicotine is more addictive than just about everything else, but. But when you subject other people to it and blow smoke in their face, that, that's disrespectful and that's very selfish, you know. But doctors used to advertise it. It's good for your lungs. Huh? To smoke. What? Yes, doctors. What? Paid off doctors? Used to advertise smoking. It's probably before Big Pharma started uh, making it worth their while to push drugs and I heard the uh, now the AMA and Ronald Reagan for GE now the AMA wants to ban and borax big pharma commercials the, uh, the advertisement of of drugs it's about time because what the uh, what happens is people come into the doctor and they say can I have this drug or that drug I saw it on TV uh, you know and it might not be appropriate for them exactly exactly like I was looking in Facebook, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Now there's a new drug out for COPD. Well, everything today is a syndrome. And I well, think they make everything a syndrome so they can prescribe a, a different drug for it. And, and Big Pharma can make more money and more money. Of course. And then you have negative side effects and your doctor gives you another drug for the negative side effects. And it goes on and on and on and on. It's it. It's a racket, man. And there are drugs that they advertise for a condition that is not really life-threatening or anything, and one of the side effects is the drug is death. What the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, at the end they they yeah. tell you oh and 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 at the end oh it could cause death. Yeah, you could kill you. Well, oh well, God. well. They made a lot Something of money. Something like for maybe like acne, you know, a like drug <laughs> for acne and could it could kill you. Listen, they had they made a ton of money mm -hmm. off of uh, Lipitor, the uh, cholesterol lowering drug. They made a a fortune off it, but it has negative side effects. They all do. Statins. Statin drugs. I'm sorry. They all do. Now, I uh, from what I hear, uh, through the grapevine. Uh, I heard it through the grapevine. 
<laughs> is that Donald Trump uh, uh -oh. says that if he's elected, he will uh, uh, give uh, Sarah Palin a job in his cabinet. What cabinet? The kitchen cabinet? I never heard anything like that. That numbskull have a job in Washington? I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, I was, uh, uh, and, and also I hear the uh, uh, the Republican Senate just, um, um, well, the, the, the Republicans collectively in Washington uh, mm -hmm. just signed another uh, tax cut for the rich. Yeah. Uh, which, 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 which adds an estimated $270 billion to the deficit, mm -hmm. to the national debt. Uh, mm -hmm. Congratulations, Republicans! Uh, do a really good job, and also um, the. Um, well, we got to cut those food stamps. The 9/11 first responders bill was yeah. shot down by the Republican Senate. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Puppet Face says that uh, uh, we'll, we'll try to get something together in a couple of weeks or something. You mean now he's got a beard now? When they get back from their recess. That's all they do is recess. Yes, they do. True. But, uh, I think when you figure it out, they're only working two days a week, something like that. So they work so hard, they're like, oh, we need a recess. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to take a vacation. Oh. Mm -hmm. All they do is obstruct for two days a week. That's correct. They don't do any work. Because the Tea Party will not let them compromise. Yep. Compromise In other words, is joining the devil. They're answering, they have to answer to the people that funded their campaigns. Is that what's going on? No, the Tea Party are ideologues. There's that, only like 40 or 50 of them. But they represent the top 1%, right, of the no. population? No. What no, do they represent? No. They represent the jumbalones on the bottom. Oh, you mean the lunatics? So, those guys who live in the trailers and et cetera down in Wolf County can Let me tell you something. All oh, my generations of relatives they we always down down yonder, we always voted Republican our whole life. Yeah, even though we're on Medicare and the Even food though stands. I live in this beautiful ultra modern shack you see or or that my, my buddy next door got a got a trailer that's falling apart. We po folk. We we more po now than we ever were, but we keep on voting for them dar yeah. Republicans because uh, the, uh let me see if I can remember why we vote for them. Uh, uh, uh baby killers. Oh yeah that's it the secular humanists. The fertilized the fertilized egg is a human baby. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. The fertilized, the fertilized egg and the embryo is is a fertilized chicken egg in your hen house a chicken? No. Bagak. <laughs> yeah, bagak. And the same thing goes for fertilized human egg. Uh, in other words, they have absolutely no facts to back up anything they say. They're they're just n uh, nuts. They're zealots. They're just. N off their rocker. Well, they, they you know, they also, uh, they also are not clear on understanding um, where is the life, the life energy that's supposed to occur at conception? Is it in the spermatozoon or is it in the ovum? Well, you could say the same thing about an acorn that, that sprouts into a baby oak. Yeah, but that's just one acorn. But what happens in the human being is that there are 200 million spermatozoa in every ejaculation. That many? They, yes. Really? Yes, and only one. So only one. So Ruth Westheimer was right. Only only takes one to get through. So they're all they're all swimming like like an Olympic swimmer. So if they are the ones carrying the life energy, they're all dying. Being aborted, and the ovum. There's about 400 or 500 in a woman's lifetime. Now figure it out and see how many go by the wayside when she's finished, when she enters menopause and no longer can 
menstruate. Well, the chem uh, when she when she's uh, when she menstruates, that is a um, that is an egg that 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 uh, surpasses its shelf life. It, it becomes uh, right. rancid or uh, stale or all morning. Same thing. If the energy, life energy, is into ovum, then it too is aborted. It's self self aborted. Self aborted. Correct. Right. In other words, if we want to pin it like uh, on God, like they tried to do, is very wasteful, isn't he? With life, very this, wasteful. This woman life. out out west somewhere, she, they wanted to arrest her from ha from ha her having a miscarriage for God for God's sakes. That's how stupid it gets. Yes. It's getting, it's getting, it, the United States is becoming one gigantic insane asylum. I hate to say that, but, and there was another banner today uh, on the Facebook group, um, which says, uh, now, now you, you, you should say something <coughs> because the word radical is being way overused. And wrongly. And wrongly overused by definition. So the banner said, if eight, if only eight percent of the world's uh, Muslims are uh, radicalized, they should say extremists, not radicalized. Then, then all the other, the good, the nice Muslims, how come they're not stopping the bad Muslims bad ones, from yeah. throwing gays out of uh, buildings and and you know stoning women and blah 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 blah, you know yada yada. You know, how come they're not intervening? Yes, that, that's, that's true. That's, that's another example. That's a good question. It's another example, like ISIS is in Syria and Iraq. They're and in what Lib business is that of ours? They're in Libya now. They're in, they took a, a town or city. In Libya? Well, that's they, what I'm saying. They, yeah. Why aren't those people standing up to them? You know what I mean? And they're and executing. Kicking them the hell and, out. And they're executing people left and right in, in this Libyan town. They're just like uh, Saudi Arabia is executing people left and right, and the, in other words, if you're not, if you don't follow the, the Sharia law to the T, then you don't deserve to live, according to this to them, yeah. well, this per percentage. According to what they are uh, supposedly reading in their Quran. Now, Muhammad Ali, he He's made a Muslim. A, he made a statement. All right, he he's a Sunni Muslim. Sunni? He I don't know why he decided uh, on Sunni, but he's know. a Sunni Muslim. But he he defended all the good people of Islam and the and Islamic uh, Muslim immigrants coming into this country, and of course, you know Donald bashed Donald Trump, but he explained that the Quran doesn't tell. Muslims to do these bad things. Well, even if it is, and some say it does, I saw a video last night. Well, a lot of Christians are but, that way too. Yeah, but here's the point. What we have today as Qurans is not what Muhammad wrote down. Uh. It's Uthman the third caliph who expurgated and censored all the uh, 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 Qurans at that time. The Qurans today are his so, changes. So it's similar to the Republican Party trying to rewrite the Holy Bible to their liking. Yes. So which, which, th but they're all collectively right-wing extremists when you think yes. about it. The, the Ku Klux Klan, who want, who call themselves a Christian organization, ha ha, um, seriously, and and uh, the uh, the all the ev right wing evangelicals, uh, all those nuts, and they're all collectively uh, right wing extremists. At the basis of all right wing and, and ISIS, yeah. extremism is the domination of the world, power. Okay. In other words, it's not about All religion. Under our religion, it's not under. They don't really care about God or or no. the religion. They they want to. So they're using it as a front. Their religion. The, the, yes, God is so weak. Cult. We God might so, is so weak. Yeah. That he needs them to you know take over the world to enforce uh, and everything. enforce his laws. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, he can't. God does not do his or her job yeah. prop, uh, good, uh, well enough, so they need the, uh, the right-wing extremists to help, that's help right. God out. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, it's a cult. Whether you call it the evangelical uh, fundamentalists or whether you call it the um, uh, you can call ISIS. it a Methodist, you can call it a... a Anything you want to call. Call it all. It's all cults. If it can't be proven, it's a cult. Just like the uh, right-wing fundamentalists, whatever they call themselves, Christian, so-called Christian cult that da takes up serpents in church and dances with serpents. Here's our evangelical serpent. I guess you could see him better now because I put him in the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. Anyway, Mr. Anonymous, you know, the UPS authentic die hard die cast metallic United States Postal Service truck representing the great United States Postal Service and the Postal Union. Really? Go Union, go United States Postal Service and feel the burn, go Bernie Sanders. Uh -huh. Now, of course, of course, of course, it doesn't surprise me that the police union sided is backing up Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah. You have a... Yeah, but is that just one? You have a fascist Trump and fascist cops. They're perfect together. They're like Keene used to say about New Jersey, we're perfect together. Yeah. You, you in New Jersey, perfect together, perfect remember together, that? Yes. With that funny voice. That he had like a lisp. But anyway, yeah, so uh, 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 all the other unions that, uh, with that, that have good intentions are pretty much um, supporting Bernie Sanders like they, they, they should because he's, he's the most pro-union and actually the most pro-poor and the most pro-minority pro and the popular. most pro-woman yeah. wo yeah. Much, much and more. And blacks and Hispanics. M much more pro women. Uh, uh, much more pro woman than Hillary Clinton is. Bernie uh -huh. Sanders. Yeah. All the, all the. I don't want to say all the above because that would be the one percent, twenty percent. All the below. Bernie Sanders is the best person for that for, job. For the That's job. Right. Um, Donald Trump. People that are like him are going to side with him. I don't know what that crazy woman with her eyes popping out was trying to say. She's saying I don't know either. CNN interviewed her. She's a, she's a Donald Trump supporter. The video is on our Facebook page. She says uh, all the politicians out there, including the president, are all lying to me. Yeah. Except Mr. Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. <laughs> He's not lying. Okay. That's what you want to believe. Of course, he says a lot of things he can't do. But she was ranting. She was like a skinny. That was not a video. I could not. There, you know, click she, on it as a video. She was like, uh, no, there was a video on the other page. Yeah. She I, she I acted. Like she behaved like a skinny Kim Davis. You know, with a, with a thin face. Her eyes were bugging out. Like this woman, you could see this woman uh, had some serious issues upstairs. You know? mm -hmm. But I do apologize to you folks out there for not going for not introducing ourselves uh, yeah, who the hell are we who the hell are we yeah. well if you watch us every week you know who the hell we are uh, welcome to progressive discussions I'm your host James P Madonna of Mega Life 21 and uh, mm -hmm. I would like to introduce my uh, illustrious co-host and mentor and the very founder of newsletters censored in 1977 that voice you hear that mysterious disembodied voice you hear the one and only the reverend dr william j eisenman how are you feeling this week sir i can't wait for my nap <laughs> you're you you you're you're tired today yes okay um we're coming to you live and recorded for from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. It is, uh, I guess you would say, uh, what is it, almost mid-December 2015? Tuesday will be mid. This Tuesday will be mid-December. Uh, we're having a very 
knock beautiful. On, knock on blackthorn wood. My shillelagh, a beautiful week coming up. Super mild. Uh, El Nino. December. Yeah. Actually, actually, we had a we had a very mild November too. And uh, the whole yeah, autumn. November was warmest on record, I believe. Yeah, autumn too. Um, let us now turn up and pee. No. Oh. Um, I think I covered all the, uh, the, the funniest part was why, uh, Trump wanting to give Sarah Palin a job. I think her job will be a professional bed warmer at the White House if he ever got elected. Because there's nothing in between her ears that would qualify her for any job in Washington. And of course there's plenty of space in between her ears and between her daughter Bristol's legs. <laughs> Oh boy. Hi oh. oh boy. That deserves seven bells. Go ahead. Let's sink our teeth into these readings. Oh boy. Good goobly goo. Ah, oh, we didn't we didn't banter that long. I don't want to suck up too much time. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Both grew hemp on their land. Even up in New York State where they had their plantations. Wow. Well, Jefferson was at Monticello. And Mount Vernon was George Washington. Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon, Vernon New York. Washington. Correct. Now, more than 200 years later, one state lawmaker wants all New Jerseyans to be able to do the same. Good luck with uh, a balloon boy in Trenton. Good luck. Assemblyman Reed Gaschiora, Democrat of Mercer County, is sponsoring legislation to legalize and regulate the production of industrialized hemp in the Garden State. Probably the most lucrative cash crop in the history of humankind. The Assembly's Commerce Committee approved both of his bills on Thursday and most beneficial. Although they passed with only Democratic lawmakers voting yes. Of course, of course. Hemp, made from the cannabis plant, is a durable fiber used to make clothing, fuel, canvas, rope, paper, and oil, among other products. Among many other products, yes. The New Jersey Farm Bureau supports legalizing it and predicts it could generate a wave of economic growth. Hemp fiber, hemp material is far superior to cotton. Uh, um, hemp, hempcrete, which is a excellent replacement for concrete in building materials, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, it, it's been proven a very effective, very powerful cancer cell destroyer, uh, the medicinal marijuana, and material-wise, the list goes on and on. So many pros, I don't see any cons. It but, also, it also absorbs, absorbs radiation like a sponge. But, growing hemp 